My goal is the truth. My goal is the truth. No matter what happens, I did get here and I did tell the truth. It's a defamation case. It is Johnny Depp versus his ex, Amber Heard. And in this case, uh, it all starts and is based upon something that Amber Heard said in an op-ed from the Washington Post, where she said, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. That was something that was published in the Washington Post back in 2018. Now, in this article, she doesn't name her ex, Johnny Depp, but Johnny Depp is alleging that is the statement that defamed him, that ruined and destroyed his career. He lost Pirates of the Caribbean. He lost other parts amounting to millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars. You know, in, in defamation cases, the number one defense to defamation, there are many of them, but the first one is the truth. If what I said was true, I cannot defame you. You can't sue me for defamation. You can't win if what I said was true. And that's what she's saying. Everything she said was true. Johnny Depp saying, no, it's false. You knew it was false and you did it to ruin my career. You knew exactly what would happen. This trial is happening in April. It's coming up in just a few weeks.
retweeted a link to an article that I wrote. And you published it on your Twitter account. All right. I retweeted it. She was referring at least in part to Johnny Depp, correct? Yeah, based on my review of prior drafts of the op-ed, I knew that they were um, that that she was referring to Johnny Depp and her marriage. Um, but I do know that her lawyers um, removed references to her marriage and divorce. Robin, her lawyers omitted the below, but Amber would love to see a way to have that part in bold somehow put back in. Is there an artful way to do that? Otherwise, she is okay with the final. Uh, two years ago, I sought a temporary restraining order from my then husband. Ellipses was changed to two years ago after successfully acquiring a temporary restraining order, but, but still not cleared by her lawyers. Do you see that? I do. Is that uh, consistent with your understanding about what Ms. Hurd's uh, desires wa were? Yeah, yeah I, I trust Jessica White's relationship with Amber so that when Jessica told Robin that that was something Amber wanted, I have no reason to think that that's not correct. The next statement reads, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. This is also about Mr. Depp, isn't that right? Not just about him, but he is included in that, yes. He's the man you accused of abuse two years prior to this op-ed. Isn't that right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, but I wrote this op-ed in the context of many men at the time that were public figures or in this public eye being accused as well. So it was a reference in general to a larger phenomenon, not just Johnny. Not just Johnny. Not just Johnny. Are you aware of any role or business opportunities that Mr. Depp lost as a result of the op-ed by Amber Heard in the Washington Post? Okay. Are you aware? Is there any other role or business opportunity that Mr. Depp has lost since you started representing him in October 2016. And I'm saying- I would say his, um, I, I would say yes. And what? The Pirates, the, the next Pirates movie. Why, is, what is your understanding of why Mr. Depp lost Pirate 6? My opinion is that it was related to the accusations um, that Amber has made. And what is your opinion based on? Excuse me? What is your opinion based on? Um, conversations with colleagues and studio execs. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Conversations with studios and other executives, both internal and external. When you say related to the accusations that were made by Amber Heard against Mr. Depp, are you talking about accusations of domestic violence and abuse by Mr. Depp? Yes.
Mr. Wiggum, had you seen other articles in the course of your duties as Mr. Depp's agent about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Uh, objection, Your Honor, still. Yes. Calls for uh, hearsay foundation. I'll allow it. Thank you. Um, how, if at all, was the op-ed different from other articles you had read about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard relationship? It, you know, it was a first person account coming from the victim. Uh, it's extremely impactful. Impactful in a, in a good or bad way? For, on, you know, with respect to Johnny, it, it was, it was catastrophic because it was coming from, you, you know, uh, a first person account. It was not from a journalist. It was not from someone observing. It was from someone saying this happened to me. After you learned that Disney was going in a different direction in early 2019 and no longer planned to use Mr. Depp. Did you, to what extent did you reach out to Jerry Bruckheimer or Sean Bailey? A lot. Did you reach out to Mr. Bruckheimer and Mr. Bailey jointly or separately? Separately. I successfully made contact with them, but I was not successful in rescuing pirates for Johnny. When was the last time you discussed Mr. Depp's role in Pirate 6 with Jerry Bruckheimer, Sean Bailey, or anyone else at Disney? 2019, I believe. In, a, in addition to Pirate 6, did Mr. Depp lose any other films between December 2018 and October 20? Yes. Yeah, yeah. After, after the op-ed, it was impossible to get him a studio film, which is what we normally would have been focused on in that time period. In your many interactions, thank you, Your Honor. In, in your many interactions with Mr. Depp, uh, to what extent, if any, have you ever seen him lose his temper? I never have, actually. To what extent, if any, has Mr. Depp ever raised his voice in your presence? No, he never has. Mr. Wiggum, to what extent have you ever seen Mr. Depp engage in any violence? Never. I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed, is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will fall to his power? He is a very powerful man and people love currying favor with powerful men. Currying favor know that and risking I've jail time it. for committing I have seen for a people powerful do this. man? I have seen people do this time and time again. That's why I wrote the op-ed. You've never seen Amber do something that you would call physically violent or an assault of Mr. Depp, correct? Other than when I testified that she threw a water bottle or a plastic cup in his direction. But that, you wouldn't consider that physically violent or, or an assault of him, correct? Well, in California, it's assault if you go to attempt to swing or throw something at somebody, even if you don't hit them. Did you ever observe anything that made you concerned for Ms. Heard's safety? Objection, foundation, and leading. I'll, I'll allow it if you can answer. That's fine. I did not. What, if anything, did you observe that made you concerned for Mr. Depp's safety? 
from the injuries I saw on his face when on a few occasions I took photos of him. Time, including that night, did you ever see Mr. Depp strike Rocky Pennington? No. That evening, did you see Mr. Depp smash bottles of wine? No. Did you see him break furniture? No. Did you see him kick a hole in, through a solid door? No. But you've never seen Johnny hit Amber? That's correct. And I've affirmed it to everybody that I've spoken to. I've been explicit about that. And you've never seen Johnny hit any woman? Correct. Did you ever notice anyone visiting Amber Heard at night while Mr. Depp was away? During the time that I was living there? Yes. Yes. On how many occasions? I wouldn't even be able to estimate. Was it more than 10? Yes. Was it more than 20? Yes. Was it more than 30? Yes. Was it more than 50? Again, I, I, I can't really speculate. I was there for quite some time. When did that first... I'm going to ask you to take a look at exhibit number 24. Okay. Do you recognize the person in this photo? Yes, Amber Heard. Okay. Do you perceive uh, there to be an injury or evidence of injury on Amber's face in this photo? Okay. No, I do not. Uh, what is your uh, perception of the redness on the cheek and the eyelid and above the eyebrow. It's consistent with her, her crying. She's fair skin. Her face is flush. Did you perceive any signs of injury on her face or anywhere else on her body that was visible to you? No. What did you determine this call was after your investigation? A uh, dispute, a verbal dispute. It's not against the law to argue. I argue in my life. Are you able to testify whether Amber Heard was the victim of domestic violence by Mr. Depp on May 21, 2016? Uh, based on our investigation, it appeared as if she was not. Did you notice any marks on her face when you were speaking with her? No. Did you see any bruises? No. Did you see any redness? No. Did you notice any swelling? No. Did it look like Ms. Heard was wearing any makeup? No. His family has been completely wrecked by all of this stuff. And it's not, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's not fair. It's not right what ha what she did and what happened for so many people to get affected from this. It's it's insane. And Mr. That uh, Amber has spoken to you about hitting Johnny, correct? No. She's spoken to you about throwing things, correct? Objection, Ms. State's testimony. Has she spoken to you about Objection, throwing things? Mind. I don't remember. You don't remember? Correct. So you remember some things, but you don't remember other things about abuse, correct? Objection, argument. Is that fair to say? Objection, abuse is a broad term. You defined it for us, correct? Yes. Okay. Has Amber ever described to you her getting mad at Johnny in fights? Objection, vague. Yes. yes. You understood my question and you answered it, correct? Has she ever said that she got mad at Johnny? Yes. Yes. Has she ever communicated to you that she's yelled at Johnny? Yes. And has she communicated to you 
that she's ever thrown anything at Johnny. No. She's never described to you throwing any object at John Depp. Objection asked and answered counsel. Did she ever describe to you having a fight with Johnny in Australia? Yes. Did she ever describe to you about what she did in that fight in Australia? She described the entire scenario. Okay. Did she ever tell you that she had thrown anything at Johnny? No. Did she ever tell you that she had cut Johnny? No. She didn't tell you that? No. What is that a picture of? It is Amber at a slight profile in the same courthouse room. Her hair is behind her ear. You can see a picture of a bruise on her cheekbone. She looks like a skeleton. Did you take this picture? Yes. Are you familiar with any of the side effects of the visual? No. Did Ms. Hurd ever tell you that she was experiencing any side effects as a result of her vigil? She never said anything about that. You testified you saw Ms. Hurd use mushrooms less than five times, yes? Yes. Did you ever do cocaine with Ms. Hurd, Amber Hurd? Um, yes. How often? Mm. Uh, not often. Sitting here today, do you still consider Ms. Hurd a friend? Um, I wouldn't consider her not a friend. What does that mean? We don't speak. We are not enemies. Why don't you speak? Um, we grow apart. Did you ever witness Mr. Depp throw anything at Ms. Hurd? No. Did you ever witness Ms. Depp kick Ms. Hurd? No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp physically injure Ms. Hurd, cause her an injury? I didn't see it. So that's a no, right? I didn't okay. see it. And although you witnessed arguments, verbal arguments between the two of them, where they exchanged mean and vicious statements, you never saw Mr. Depp assault or beat Ms. Hurd on any occasion, correct? Jack? No, I never saw either of them physically assault the other ones. Did you ever experience him become violent as a result of or because of smoking cigarettes or joints? As I've already explained to you probably eight times, I've never seen Mr. Depp become physically violent with Ms. Hurd. So if that's what you're asking me, if he smoked a cigarette and that made him violent, I think you know that that's ridiculous. And the answer is, again, no. Throughout my career, I have created bruises and I also have covered bruises. Do you recall seeing any injuries on Ms. Hurd's face? At that dinner on May 24th, 2016? I don't recall. Do you recall? And when you went to the penthouse on December 15th, I believe you testified before that you didn't see any injuries on Amber Heard that evening, correct? Sorry, I don't recall seeing any injuries on Amber that day, that night. Do you recall if Ms. Pennington was at the penthouse that evening? Yes. Do you recall if anybody else was at the penthouse that evening? I don't recall. 
Did you ever see Mr. Depp act in a violent manner? No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp yell at Ms. Heard? No. Did you ever see him kick Ms. Heard? No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp throw an object at Ms. Heard? No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp slap Ms. Heard? No. Punch her? No. Did you ever see Mr. Depp kick Ms. Heard? No. Is it fair to say, Ms. Inglesias, that you never saw Mr. Depp be physically abusive towards Ms. Heard? Correct. And you never saw Mr. Depp cause any injuries to Ms. Heard, correct? Did I ever saw him causing any injuries? No. And so any injuries that you claim to have seen on Ms. Heard, you don't know one way or another how they were caused, correct? Correct. The only source of information that you have is Ms. Heard's own words, correct? Correct. What was your impression of Mr. Depp when you first met him? Lovely. You thought he was lovely? Yeah. Turning to the, um, the staircase incident in March 2015, um, you testified that Mr. Depp allegedly hit you during that incident, right? Yes. But you aren't sure if that contact was even meant for you, right? I honestly don't. I don't know what he was aiming for. My back was to him. And you weren't injured during that incident, right? No, I wasn't. And you didn't seek medical attention? No. And you said Debbie Lloyd was there during all of that, correct? She was. And Mr. Depp's security, Travis McGivern, was there too? Yes, he was. And you saw your sister hit Mr. Depp on the stairs that day, right? After he struck me, yes. You said she, she landed one, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next day you found some damage in the adjoining penthouse. Correct. And we saw some pictures of what you saw that day, right? Yes. You thought it was important to document that damage, right? Not to document. Um, it was Kevin's job to kind of clean up the houses, take care of the houses. Um, I took pictures just so he could be aware of what he would need to bring. Um, I didn't know if he had tools here or whatever. I was just preparing him for what he was going to have to fix. But you didn't take any pictures of your sister that day, right? No, I didn't. Now, after March 2015, you continued to have a close relationship with Mr. Depp, right? Yes. And you still loved him? Of course. And you were there for him if he needed you, right? Of course. And in fact, just a couple of weeks after that staircase incident, you were still acting as the marriage counselor, weren't you? At some point, sure. <clears throat> you know who Jennifer Howell is, right, Ms. Enriquez? I do. She's the founder of the Art of Elysium nonprofit? She is. And you worked there for a time, didn't you? I did. Around May 2015, you actually moved in with Ms. Howell, right? May 2015? 15? Yes. And you moved out of the penthouses because at that point you and your sister were fighting, right? It was, yeah, it was around the time that, you know, he had accused me of leaking stories and that was the impetus of me leaving. And you, te you testified earlier, I think, that he had asked you to sign an NDA, right? At some point. Yeah. And that was around the same time that he was concerned you were leaking stories about their wedding to the media? I believe so. Um, you and Ms. Howell were close? We were. Close enough that you lived with her for around a year? I don't recall if it was that long. And you confided, in, you confided in Ms. Howell, right? About some things, yes. She was my friend. You called her your chosen sister? <clears throat> Ms. Enriquez, um, you claim to have seen signs of injuries on your sister during the course of her relationship with Mr. Depp, right? Yes. But you never witnessed any incidents uh, that result, resulted in visible injuries to your sister, right? Uh, other than the staircase incident? 
I, I witnessed that incident. What are you asking me exactly? You never witnessed any incidents that resulted in signs of injury that you were concerned about over the course of the relationship? Other than the staircase incident, I did witness that. No, at no other time when you... No, that was the only time that I saw him. And you didn't see what caused any of the injuries you claim to have seen during the course of their relationship, right? Other than the staircase incident. Yeah, the staircase incident is the only one that I saw. But you have seen your sister land a blow on Mr. Depp, right? That was the time, yes, after he hit me. Why did you send this email and letter to Ms. Enriquez? Because I struggled very much with what to do in a situation that I love someone who I know is doing something very wrong and I know that they're doing it because they're trying to protect their sister and I'm trying to protect her and I'm just trying to get her to wake up and do the right thing which is tell the truth that's the only thing that can help everybody involved in this case. Ms. Howell, do you recall submitting a witness statement in the United Kingdom? Yeah, they basically just called to verify the witness statement that was submitted previously. Directing your attention to the next note from March 8th, 2015. But um, do you recall that this, at the time of this entry on March 8th, 2015, Ms. Heard was in Australia? I would make that assumption based upon my note for March 8th. Um, I state that client will be returning to Los Angeles accompanied by house manager Ben. Um, I'm paraphrasing there, but uh, yes, I, I believe she was coming from Australia for this particular entry. It says here, RN plans to meet client upon arrival. Do you see that? Oh yes, yes I do. Um, and I think you testified to this earlier. You did see Ms. Heard the next day when she arrived back in Los Angeles, is that correct? That's correct. If, if you look at the entry for March 9th, I refer to meeting her and her friends. So yes, I would have met her uh, in person that date. Um, do you recall observing any injuries to Miss Hurt when she when you saw her on March 9th, 2015? No, I don't recall. I don't. I don't make note of it, but I don't. I don't recall either. Do you uh, recall Ms. Hurd seeking any medical treatment from you when you saw her on March 9, 2015? I don't recall. Directing your attention to the entry for March 10th, 2015, um, it says RN met client at home at 1600. Do you recall what 
or Ms. Hurd um, showed any injuries to you on that at that time? No, I don't recall any, any injuries. Okay. Client had visible bright red blood appearing at center of lower lip. When RN made client aware that she active, was actively bleeding on her lip, client stated it was from injury sustained in the, and then it's blank, you see that? And then, I keep going down in the argument between her and her husband, and then it continues to bleed actively. You wrote that? Yes. And then you also wrote clients also states that her head is bruised and that she lost clumps of hair and altercation. You wrote that? I assume so, it's in my notes. Okay. And then you wrote, Aaron briefly looked at client's scalp but was unable to visualize the, hemat the hematomas client had described. Client laughed and also reported using illicit drugs, mushrooms and MDMA on May 9th, 2016 at home with a high profile male acquaintance. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. In your time caring for Ms. Hurd, did you ever see Mr. Dell physically abuse her? What did Ms. Hurd report to you? That it was a point of pride, two things. It was a point of pride to her if she felt disrespected to initiate a fight and was her father had beaten her. She was not going to. And the second, the second one is what she reported to me, which is if he was going to leave her to deescalate from the fight, she would strike him to keep him there. She would rather be in a fight than have him leave. Did you speak to any other doctors or psychologists that worked with either Amber? The incidents where Amber described Mr. Depp being violent, Mr. Depp was not present, correct? That's true. Ms. Hurd stood approximately three feet away from you. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind on Ms. Hurd's face. Do you see that? Correct. Sometime in the bathroom, she was on the phone again to the point where the cabin crew had to sort of tap on the door and say, we need to leave now. Everybody needs to sit down. At any point, did you observe anything about Ms. Hurd physically on that flight? Yes, I did. Right toward, just before we landed, I noticed some marks on her, on her arm, her left forearm. How would you describe those? Um, long, kind of uniform, evenly spaced, sort of long, thin marks. Very uniform, in fact. And when did you first notice those? On the plane, towards coming into land, you know, we're gathering the stuff up. I, I noticed them then. To be honest, I did sort of say, finally, so what happened? You know, obviously referring to the house. And I mean, she didn't give much explanation, if any. She did say, um, Ben, have you ever been so angry with someone you just lost it with them? Um, uh, and I sort of said, uh, no, actually, I'm pretty calm, you know, even tempered guy. Um, but she did repeat it. She looked pretty incredulous that I hadn't. and. She repeated it. You mean you've never lost it with somebody, got so angry with someone, you just lost it with them. While you worked for Ms. Hurd, did you ever see any types of injuries on her? No. Did you ever see any cuts? No. Did you see bruises? No. Did you see swelling? No. Redness in her face? No. 
How about Ms. Hurd having black eyes? Never. A broken nose? Never. Missing hair clumps? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. Ms. Never. James? Never. This is Me Too without any Me Too. I had a relationship with him. Uh, did there come a time when you and Mr. Depp had a romantic relationship? Yes. For how long, Ms. Moss, were you and Mr. Depp a romantic couple? From 1993 to, no, 1994 to 1998. Ms. Moss, did there come a time when you, uh, while you and Mr. Depp were a couple that the two of you took a vacation together to the Golden Eye Resort in Jamaica? Yes. What, if anything, happened when you were in Jamaica with Mr. Depp? I, um, we were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did and there had been a rainstorm and as I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. How did you... And... Oh, I apologize, Ms. Moss. Please continue. And I screamed because I was in... because uh, I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain. And um, he came running back to help me 
and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Mr. Depp wears rings on every finger, doesn't he, Miss Heard? That's my experience, yes. And they're not delicate rings, are they? Uh, no, they are not. Every one of his fingers is adorned, your words, big, chunky rings. Isn't that right? That's my experience of him. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. So there's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he, he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Despite hitting you several times that so you lost count with rings on, your on his fingers. That's correct. I did not seek medical attention other than my therapist. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp at the event the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face and I did think it broke my nose. And this is you the night after? Yes, it is. Ice will cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you might imagine and for me it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Ms. Heard? I have so I produced everything. But you haven't shown it to this jury. I would very much like to. It's not my job. Master Deputy Sheriff Lusa, may I please have you show the knife to Ms. Heard? Yes, that's it. Hasta la muerte. Till death. Thank you. <coughs> this is the knife you gave to the man who would get drunk and violent with you, right? This is the same knife that I gave him as a present in 2012, yes. All right. There? Okay. The reason that we need to go through this, Ms. Hurd, is because we understand that these are very serious allegations that you're making, right? It was horrible what happened to me, yes. Okay. And you testified that you bled as a result of this sexual assault, correct? That is correct. All right. And you testified that your forearms were cut. My forearms and my feet. And your feet were sliced up. That's correct. And you testified you had a bruise across your jaw. That is correct. And there is not a single medical record reflecting treatment for any of those injuries is there misheard i didn't seek treatment and the day after you sustained all these injuries dr david kipper came to the house in australia right well he came the third day uh, along with security the day after you sustained these injuries Ms. dr david kipper came along with nurse debbie lloyd correct well the that fight went into the morning, like early hour morning, so technically that last day. You took this picture as well, right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. And this is from one of the bathroom mirrors in Australia? That's correct. This is also a picture taken after Mr. Depp had injured his finger? That's correct. And this is also a picture taken after you had allegedly been assaulted by Mr. Depp? That's correct. You didn't capture yourself in the mirror in this picture either, did you? I do not see myself in the mirror in that picture. Is that because you didn't have any visible injuries on you? It's because I was taking a picture of the writing. It's, it, it's not to get you mad, it's not to get, it's just to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, at least 
five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. To, to, to avoid talking to me. To, to escape, the, That's to escape the, the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the ref splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I, all I'm saying is you, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, 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 here you come. I come out. Fight, 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 crazy, escalated. I go, I split again, I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, 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 bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. Every this is what really happened in Australia, isn't it, Miss Heard? Uh, I did knock on a bathroom door on the first night. So you write, Miss Heard, to Dr. Cowan. I feel so lost. I can't talk. I don't know if I'll ever be able to change. Right? And I said, I clearly can't figure this out, meaning the relationship. You didn't say that. You said I did. Not the relationship. Your text messages, clearly I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. What I was saying to him is no, 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 clearly Ms. I can't Ms. figure Heard, this Ms. out. Heard, that's not my question. The text. Just the text. That's exactly what, you what I was saying. What you texted. Clearly, I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. That's, that's what right. I was saying. Okay. Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? No, ma'am. And once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and you can look either of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. Growth that you didn't report to Dr. Hughes, your retained psychologist, that you had cut yourself as a teenager once? I said I had told my mom that I wanted to when I was a teenager. Ms. Heard, we heard some testimony from you yesterday about a trip you and Mr. Depp took on a train in Southeast Asia. Do you recall that? Yes, that's correct. That was when you and Mr. Depp went on your honeymoon trip, correct? That's correct. And that was in July of 2015? Yes, that sounds right. Let's take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 162, which is already in evidence. You were here in this courtroom, right, Ms. Heard, when Malcolm Connolly testified to taking this picture? That's correct. This is the picture, this picture shows an injury to Mr. Duff's face, doesn't it? I disagree. I've seen this, this is, picture. Uh, okay, Ms. Heard, I've seen I got this picture. the answer. Thank before you. and it, you disagree? he's not injured in it he's not injured in this picture mm -hmm. that's your testimony fine this one is uh photoshop Ms. heard i have your answer thank you this is the only photograph from our honeymoon that shows someone with an injury correct that's not true we haven't seen any photos of injuries to your face from that train trip have we i don't believe my face was injured on that trip
It's Exhibit 1301, and this is a new one, Your Honor, so this is not in evidence. Okay, thank you. Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's reflected in this photograph? Uh, yes, this is the the staff. Uh, it's the manager and uh, his staff at the, um, um, the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. Um, and before we left, they uh, they asked if they could take a photograph with us. And when was this photograph taken? Um. Well, that would have been, we were off the Orient Express. We stayed in Raffles, I believe, a couple of couple of days, few days. And then from there, we flew to San Francisco. So this photograph was taken after the photograph we just looked at? Th th this photograph was taken after the photograph in the dining car of the train, yes. Uh, Your Honor, I move uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 1301 into evidence. Pardon any objection? Oh, happy honeymoon. Any, so it's any, 31st of October. Any, any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 1301 is an evidence can be published to the jury. Mr. Depp, what, if any, injuries do you see on your face in this photograph? I see pretty much the same. I, 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 I see that the the area in here has been um, well is is uh, swollen and uh, um, yeah there's a bit of a shiner there. Thank you. We can take this down. You've seen this photograph as well, right? I have. On the third day of your direct testimony, you testified that this photograph reflected spilled wine in Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016, didn't you? I, again, I don't know because I'm looking at a partial picture of a floor, so unless you remove the metadata you've covered up, we could then tell. If you I didn't remove, cover it up, Your Honor. Could I, we unredact them Honor, so we could get context? No, that, that's how it's in evidence. That's how All it's right. in evidence. Next question. Well, the metadata next to it is so that Ms. Heard, to avoid this Ms. Heard, sort of there is no question pending. And I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, I thought you would ask me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. Let's look at your direct testimony from um, the third day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's turn to page 4750 in day 17 transcript. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? line 16. Do you see where Ms. Bredehoff asked you to describe for the jury what took place on May 21st, 2016? I see that. Okay. And do you see that your testimony is reflected about May 21, 2015? Yes. That follows? Okay. Yes. Now let's turn to page 4804. At line 14. 4804, starting at line 14? Yes. Through 4805, line four. Uh, going to what line? Line four at 4805. Do you see that you're testifying that Defendant's Exhibit 725, which is reflected on the right side, reflects spilled wine on the floor in Penthouse 5? That's correct. Okay. And Defendant's Exhibit 512 and 725 seem to be different versions of the same picture, don't they? That's correct. Okay. So which is it? 
which one was taken on December 15th, 2015, or May 21st, 2016? If you remove the redacted metadata, you can find out. It's right there. Or if you're telling the truth, you would know. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement... When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for the Hurt, entire house Hurt, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Hurt. All right, next question, please. Thank you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate. I mean, to fulfill those. So that's a no, right, Ms. Hurd? I am. I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the seven million dollars for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. Is that I, correct? Ms. I Hurt? disagree with your characterization of that. look at your sworn testimony from the UK. This is uh, your third witness statement that you submitted in the UK action, right, Ms. Hurd? Correct. And this statement was made under oath, true? That uh, is true. I'm directing your attention to the last page of that statement. That's your signature, right? Yes, it is. So you made the sworn statement on February 26, 2020. That's correct. And directing your attention to paragraph four. It says, quote, I remained financially independent from him the whole time we were together and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. The him you were referring to is Mr. Depp. That is correct. Tossa Van Reed is your ex-wife, right? That's right. She's my ex-partner. You committed domestic violence against Miss Van Reed during your relationship, didn't you? No, I did not. You assaulted her at a Seattle airport in 2009, didn't you? No, I did not. Amber Heard allegedly struck her ex-girlfriend, Tossa Van Ree, at the airport in 2009. Did I read that right? Yes, this is another example of the smear campaign. So Mr. Depp is not the only domestic partner you've assaulted, is he, Miss Heard? I've never assaulted Mr. Depp or anyone else that I've been romantically linked to, ever. Are you familiar with the defendant in this matter, Amber Heard? Yes, I am. And how are you familiar with her? I met her in 2009 at SeaTac International Airport. Why were you at the airport? I worked there. What happened when you met Ms. Heard in 2009? I was uh, in the baggage claim area and I observed her with a traveling companion and uh, they got into an altercation where um, Ms. Heard was, um, had grabbed her traveling companion and um, pulled something from her neck at that point, I got up and went over to try to break up what appeared to be a fight. Uh, and I uh, summoned a colleague to help me. And I stepped in between them and separated them, um, stopping any further uh, injuries or escalation. How would you describe the interaction between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Uh, Ms. Hurd was aggressive towards her traveling companion and she had reached up and grabbed her arm and uh, pulled a necklace off of her and, and, and then I uh, observed her having it in her hand. Um, she seemed to be um, not very steady on her feet. Uh, her eyes were blurry uh, and watery and I could smell alcohol. What did Ms. Hurd's traveling companion do? Uh, she raised her hands in what appeared to be a defensive um, manner. And, but other than that, she was pretty stoic and uh, didn't really respond much. 
How would you describe Ms. Hurd's demeanor when you stepped in between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Uh, she was somewhat dismissive. She just said, um, we're, we're just having an argument. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, because I was asking if, if they were okay. Are you okay? Um, is there anything wrong? What, you know, what's going on? Uh, what, if any, injuries did you observe on Miss Hurd's traveling companion? She had um, abrasion on the side of her neck where the necklace was, um, like a rope burn um, from the uh, chain as it was removed. Mr. Depp, have you ever physically assaulted Ms. Hurd? Never. Have you ever sexually assaulted Ms. Hurd? Never. Certainly not. And Mr. Neumeister, um, what's your, um, what, what do we see here in this demonstrative? Um, there's uh, exhibit 712, I believe you have, I'm not sure the Bates number is 712 and 713. Uh, there are two separate exhibits, except it's the exact same photograph that's been, uh, one's been edited, one hasn't, or I can't say that one hasn't, but uh, the colors have been uh, modified in an editor. Uh, Mr. Newmeister, what's your opinion about the authenticity here? There's no way for any forensic expert to validate any of these photos. You do it. 
Did you get in a fight or something? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> got into an altercation. Ow. Oh. I already <laughs> talked about it. I won't talk about it anymore. I can't believe Amber beat your ass. I know you could beat her ass. We're not going to oh, talk man. about that. Whitney, truth or dare. Okay, did you really start the fight with your sister or did she start it? For real, for real, for real. We're not going to oh, talk man. about that. She yes. really did I'm whoop your butt. Oh, we're not talking about it. Yeah, I'm done. I guess I'm done talking about it. Are you familiar with the defendant in this matter, Amber Heard? Yes, I am. And how are you familiar with her? I met her in 2009 at SeaTac International Airport. Why were you at the airport? I worked there. What happened when you met Ms. Heard in 2009? I was uh, in the baggage claim area and I observed her with a traveling companion and uh, they got into an altercation where um, Ms. Heard was um, had grabbed her traveling companion and um, pulled something from her neck. At that point, I got up and went over to try to break up what appeared to be a fight. Uh, and I uh, summoned a colleague to help me. And I stepped in between them and separated them, um, stopping any further uh, injuries or escalation. How would you describe the interaction between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Um, Ms. Hurd was aggressive towards her traveling companion and she had reached up and grabbed her arm and uh, pulled a necklace off of her and, and, and then I uh, observed her having it in her hand. Um, she seemed to be um, not very steady on her feet. Uh, her eyes were blurry uh, and watery, and I could smell alcohol. What did Miss Hurd's traveling companion do? Uh, she raised her hands in what appeared to be a defensive um, manner, and, but other than that, she was pretty stoic and uh, didn't really respond much. How would you describe Miss Hurd's demeanor when you stepped in between Miss Hurd and her traveling companion? Uh, she was somewhat dismissive. She just said, um, we're, we're just having an argument. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, because I was asking if, if they were okay. Are you okay? Um, is there anything wrong? What, you know, what's going on? Uh, what, if any, injuries did you observe on Miss Hurd's traveling companion? She had um, abrasion on the side of her neck where the necklace was, um, like a rope burn um, from the uh, chain as it was removed. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running And I know they'll take you home Even when the dark comes crashing through When you need a friend to carry you And when you're broken on the ground You will be found so let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head and look around You will be found You will be found You will be found You will be found You will be found
implication about Mr. Depp is clear, i.e. that Ms. Hurd is a survivor of domestic abuse and that Mr. Depp is a perpetrator. The context in the rest of the op-ed op -ed makes that clear as well. Consider, for instance, this line, quote, imagine a powerful man as a ship, like the Titanic. That ship is a huge enterprise. When it strikes an iceberg, there are a lot of people on board desperate to patch up holes, not because they believe in or even care about the ship, but because their own fates depend upon the enterprise, unquote. Everyone in Hollywood knew, and everyone in this courtroom now knows exactly what Ms. Heard intended those words to mean. The ship, the Titanic, is, is Mr. Depp. And Ms. Heard was the iceberg that sank him. That's precisely what Ms. Heard was saying in the op-ed. And in just the same way, everyone in Hollywood knew, and else, Hollywood and elsewhere knew exactly what Ms. Heard meant by the words, quote, two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, unquote. That was a clear reference to the day two years earlier on May 27th, 2016. And as Ms. Vasquez said, that was six years to the day. That's when his life ended. That was six years ago to this day when Ms. Heard on May 27th, 2016, walked into court with her, public, with her publicist, Jody Gottlieb, having tipped off TMZ with an alleged mark on her face to accuse Mr. Depp of abuse. It is about restoring his lost reputation. It's about showing Mr. Depp's children, Lily Rose and Jack, that the truth is worth fighting for. It is. I think our, our I think our conversations have definitely improved now that you have them in your ear. I'm telling you that there are no cops here. You've done more illegal drugs in this room that should be way, 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 way more concerning to you well, if you're yeah. oh Mr. Law all of a sudden. Are you kidding me? The bag of cocaine you just took into the bathroom about an hour ago? You don't think that that is illegal? That's illegal, Johnny. Do you think if you're so worried about the law? Well, the cops uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Are you worried, are you worried about the cops? No, you're not fucking worried about the cops. And my lawyers are certainly not. They could have called the cops yesterday when we met all day yesterday, but they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Did they call the cops? Can, do, can your lawyers hear me now? Did they call the cops? No, they didn't. I think they're going to hear you pretty well. Good. They, no one called the cops yesterday. And no one called the cops today. Can you stop being so irrational? How is it irrational? I am speaking very rationally. If you're worried about legality, if you're worried about your legal, your liability, right? Then you would not have a pound, whatever, a, ba a pound of cocaine in your bag. And if you're worried about my lawyers, I don't know how much you have. So the next demand was that all of the community liabilities that were unresolved, approximately $13.5 million, that Mr. Depp had to pay those liabilities in its entirety. 
So at that point, she was demanding $14,250,000 of consideration, and then it got worse. The next demand was that all of this consideration be paid to her free of taxation. And counselor, for him to pay $14,250,000 million, $14 million to Ms. Hurd, that would require him to earn approximately $30 million. You cannot testify that Johnny Depp was not abused, can you? I, I can testify that he had physical acts of violence perpetrated on him as well as psychological aggressive acts perpetrated upon him. Mr. Foreperson, is this the verdict of the jury? Yes, ma'am. All right, is it unanimous? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Jamie? In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Hurd. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Hurd, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Two, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled a transformative moment for women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition. Quote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Three, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change in the Washington Post online edition. Quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. We ask you to please return your verdict for Mr. Depp. We ask you, we implore you to give him his name, his reputation, and his career back. He's going to be uh, filming a movie in France uh, sometime this summer, I guess at the end of the summer. And he's going to be playing Louis the 15th. They're filming at Versailles from what I read. Louis the 15th, of course, 15th, of course, is the predecessor to Louis the 16th. Um, so everybody's heard of him, maybe not that Louis the 15th. He's also playing, He's he's got another movie that he's going to be playing that is 
super amazing and exciting that has not been announced. Oh, tell us all about I can't, it. I can't I tell, tell you anything it. about it. I'm just going to tell you some, what? something <laughs> amazing's coming. Um, okay, are you? Is this just the word on the street in Hollywood no. that there's some big amazing project coming? It's or not. What? A, it's not word on the street. It's inside scoop. encourage any victim to come forward. Domestic violence doesn't have a gender.